Hi, in this video, I am going to show you some more ways to edit our graph templates. In the process, I am also going to eliminate some of the doubts you may have about the usage of our graph templates. If you observe all our graph templates, you would realize that the slide format is 4x3. The question some of our customers have is, will these graph templates work in a 16x9 format? The answer is yes. There is absolutely no problem in using our 4x3 formatted graphs in a 16x9 format as well. Let me show you how. Let us take this one, which is an exploded donut chart. I want to copy this slide and paste it into a presentation which is in 16x9 format. So I'm going to right click on this, copy. I go to this presentation which is in 16x9 format. I'm going to add this after this first slide. So I'm going to right click here and observe this. I'm going to use the second option called as keep source formatting. I'm going to click on it and here whatever format that was used in the earlier one that is in the original slide template is retained here. Along with that you can see that some of these design elements like this 3D floor is also retained. You can either choose to extend this end to end and make this work like I'm just going to extend this to this end and now we have our chart complete or you can choose to eliminate this completely if you don't want. The second thing is when you have our chart templates will you be able to apply design themes? Will those design themes reflect on our chart templates? The answer to this is again a yes. Let me show you how. Let us work on this presentation itself and let us try to apply some themes and see the kind of impact it has on our charts. Now I'm going to go to the design tab in PowerPoint ribbon. Let me see what kind of changes happen as I move my cursor through these various design theme options. First, I have my cursor on this. As you can see here, the color themes that are used have completely changed. I move to this one. Once again, the color themes and the fonts have changed and even our chart reflects whatever changes that are suggested by the design theme. As I move through the various options, you can see that our charts fit in so beautifully with any design theme that you apply. And this is something which is very important for you to note. Let us say you've created your own custom theme and you've applied that custom theme for all your presentation slides. Now, you need to be sure that the slides that you insert into your presentation also work with your custom theme. As you can see here, these charts work so beautifully with any theme. So that answers the second question, which is about the theme compatibility of our charts. Let us move to the next question that some of our customers ask us, and that is, if I were to choose a specific chart, let us say a bullet chart like this, do I need to work with this whole slide the way it is or can I pick some pieces from this slide and use them separately? For example, can I pick this chart, copy this and paste it onto a different slide and work from there? Of course you can. Let me do that. I'm going to select this specific chart. I'm going to click on the bounding box, right click and say copy. Now I have copied this chart. Let us go to the presentation that we were working on, which was in our 16 by nine format. Let me add a new slide and let me right click and paste. Now we have our bullet chart available in our new slide. This bullet chart would work exactly the way it would have worked had it been in the original slide. Let me show you what I mean by this. To edit the chart, I'm going to right click, go to edit data and you have the worksheet open up here. And this is one thing that I want you to remember. Whenever you see the cells colored in gray, I don't want you to touch them at all because these are the calculations on which the charts are built. You need to input your data only in the yellow cells. And these are the yellow cells where you can make your input. Now, let us say the value here is 57% as it is shown here. And let us say I want to change this to say 72% you can see the change reflecting immediately. Now the best part here is 
if you want to add a picture here or if you want to add your own text here you can do so without any trouble that is the beauty of our templates you don't necessarily have to stick to the specific format that i have recommended you can create your own variations of your slides you can have any type of slide component and still can use our chart templates and save time the next question our customers have is about resizing the chart templates now let me go to this slide let us take this speedometer chart this one shows dial with completion percentage and it is quite useful whenever you want to show percentage completion of your projects or percentage achievement of your uh, sales performance compared to target and things of that nature now let us see how exactly to resize this specific chart I'm going to select this and that selects the whole chart along with its background and I'm going to press Ctrl C which is the shortcut for copy or you can also click on this one which is the button available for copy. Then let us go back to the presentation that we were working on and let us try to stick our speedometer chart here. I'm going to right click and say paste. I'm going to use this one called as use destination theme. Don't click on this one because then you will be sticking it back as a picture. We don't want that. We want it editable. So I'm going to select the left one, which is use destination theme. So I have clicked on this one. Now I have got my speedometer chart available on this slide. Now let us see how we can resize this. I'm going to hold the shift button down as I drag this inside to resize it. Now this is sufficiently a small size. As you can see, the chart has pretty much retained itself. The only difference is that this font size seems to be too large. So I'm going to select on the numbers that selects all the numbers together. Then I go to the home tab and reduce the font size. Now this font size is much clearer. I would expect that if you have got your chart at this size, chances are that you might be using it in the document. And that is the reason why I've reduced the font size to this level. Now, as you can see, you can edit this chart the way that you would have edited the regular chart. I'm going to right click and say edit data. As you can see right now, we have got the needle in this position. We are not going to touch any of these gray cells. We are going to use only the yellow cells to input our numbers. The current percentage that is being shown is 45 percentage. And let us say I want to increase it to 75%. And as soon as I did that, you can see that the dial has already reflected the change that I've inputted here. I'm going to close this. And that is how you resize our chart templates. Now, let us say I want to use the same chart in a Word document. Can I do that? Of course you can. I'm going to select this, right click, copy, go to a Word document and I'm going to paste it. Now, the speedometer chart that you see here is totally editable even in Word document. Let me show you how. I have selected this, right click, go to edit data, and you have the same worksheet available. Instead of 75, if I want to make this as a 50, I can do that and you can see the change happening here. The only thing is you have this outline available here. You select this chart, and you go to format and go to shape outline and say no outline. And there it is. Our speedometer chart is available on your Word document and you can use it just as you would use any component inside a Word document. Let us go forward. And the last question that people ask is, can I have multiple charts on the same slide? I've already answered that question by showing that you can have two different charts on the same slide. Even if you want to have the same chart with a different version, you can use. For example, I have got one speedometer chart here. I'm going to right click copy and I'm going to paste it. Now I've got the second speedometer chart. Now I want to change this value from the current value here, which is 75%. If I want to have this say, say 25%, I can do that. And as you can see here, there is another speedometer chart here with a different number as compared to the earlier one. That is the extent to which our charts are flexible. Our charts save you time, make your slides look beautiful and make your data very easy for your audience to understand. Hope you got inspired to use our visual graphs templates.